Retired Military General Jovito Palparan led the anti-insurgency campaign against communist rebels during the time of former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. And after three years in hiding, Palparan, known as the Butcher, has been captured. He is accused of torture, killings and enforced disappearances of political activists in the Philippines. I Linda Kadapan's daughter is one of them. As a mother, I can never accept in my heart that I will never see my daughter again. She was so alive when they took her. She's been taken from me by people whose job it is to protect her. Shirley, a university student, is believed to have been abducted by soldiers under Palparan's command in 2006. While his arrest is seen as a step in the right direction, human rights activists here say his legacy of impunity lives on within the Philippine military. A culture of abuse so pervasive, they say, it affects almost all ranks, from soldiers all the way to its generals. Many believe this practice goes as far back as the martial law era in the 1970s under the late president, Ferdinand Marcos. The heart of the problem lies in the culture of impunity, so deeply entrenched with the military, uh, the sense of power, the use of terror to maintain that kind of power over the civilian population in the Philippines. We give value to human rights uh, as something very important in our campaign, not just to uh, discipline our own ranks, but at the same time, we know that uh, uh, the very reason uh, your soldiers are around is to protect uh, the people. Palparan's arrest is seen here as largely symbolic, with many hoping that President Aquino may finally fulfill his long overdue promise of putting a stop to human rights abuses in the country. Chimala Lindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.